Wow, it's a whole nother grocery store here. It's not as I don't think it has as many things as um as like food pantry, but it's, I don't know. This is where um where Lana Coffee House was. It's pretty cool. So this is right across the street from Hilton Hawaiian Village. Alamoana Boulevard here, Ina Road, Kalia Road, and then um Yeah. Wow, it's pretty nuts. Okay. It's right next to IHA. Oh, they got all kind of look, good looking food in there. Gotta check out this place. Waikiki Gundam style. Right across, or right next to IHOP. Ramada Plaza in the front of that. And then you have Kahanamoku Street here. This is Alamona Boulevard. Over there, that's the Hilton Hawaiian Village. That's where we started over there, in the back there by the Kahanamoku Lagoon. Some large sizes. Oh. Ilikai Hotel right there. I don't think my camera can do well in here. Well, you know, we'll just go inside real quick. I did a video in here before. I probably had my gimbal on. I'll try to be steady. There's some food places in here. The Hawaii Brew. 
smoothies, avocado toast, so she got snacks and stuff. What is this? Bombay Palace Indian cuisine. Oh. Pharmacy. Subway is in here. Aloha sushi. There's a place on. Okay, let's go show downstairs. I forgot there is a downstairs. Right here. Sorry if the video is shaky. I gotta show these places because people don't know. Nowadays it's so funny, you're a rebel if you don't have a tattoo. <laughs> That's how I feel like anyway, because everybody got tattoos now. I have I have some tattoos. Rental, scooter rentals. You need your credit card, I think. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Photo Luke Hawaii, share us with other people who you haven't, uh, who might be interested in our videos. I mean, yeah, we just had a Kauai Con this past weekend. Uh, check out my Kauai Con videos. My first time going there it was pretty fun. Can't wait to go next year already.
this one's called ABC Super Rent. You know, each ABC store has a number. And on the uh, Google Maps, I think it shows sometimes. We're walking up Alamoana Boulevard. place that's the Waikiki Prince right across there am I saying that right I can't remember I was saying it wrong before It is 78 degrees, 70% um, humidity. It's about 12.50 right now. I'm gonna um, take you guys on a little walk along the Aloai Canal a little bit. We're still in the Hobron area uh, and walking up Alamoana Boulevard. If you keep going up this way, you can see the um, part of Macy's right there. That's Alamoana Center. And then that's on the right side of Alamoana Boulevard. On the left side, you can go to Alamoana um, Beach. Alamoana Regional Beach Park. Um, I kind of want to show you the view from up there, but maybe not. show you guys the view from up there. Let's just go look. Oh, it's called the Prince Waikiki. Alawai Canal. This is Alawai uh, Boulevard. We're gonna go walk along there. Genki balls in here, which um, I think they're made up of uh, some uh, biological things that help break up, break down the toxins and stuff. Makes the water cleaner, and uh, it's been a project they've been working on for a long time. <clears throat> Here's Alawai Boulevard. All the way at the end uh, on Hobron side of Waikiki. I just call it Hobron side. I don't know what else to call it because Hobron Lane is in there, Eaton Square is in there. Um, yeah. So 
So this is actually salt water. In this area, it's all salt water. But um, this this is all the streams coming from the mountain coming down over here on this side from Manoa from uh, uh, I think Palolo and it leads out to the open ocean where um look there's a guy he's uh, paddling right there It goes out to the ocean and um, the uh, Alawai Harbor. I think this stairway is open. I'm going to show you guys down the stairs a little bit. Check it out. Oh, look, there's the Alma crabs. Uh, Alma crabs. They're the black crabs. I still would not go swimming in here. Um, people throw things in there. I mean, look. There's a table with rusting metal. And <clears throat> I don't know why people do that. Crazy people. You don't uh, make rubbish anywhere. Wow, look at this cool old car. You can walk on that side too of Alawai uh, Boulevard. I'll do that another another walk. That place has been abandoned for a while. You see the graffiti on there. So, if you were at Kauai Con this past weekend, you were there at the Hawaii Convention Center. It's huge over there. There were so many things going on there. There were um, artwork, crafts, um, handmade, you know, like, Amazing things that people make, a lot of artwork. Um, there were even outfits, there was clothing, uh, and it is anime cosplay, um, some goth theme. There were concerts, uh, people dressed up. It was so fun. I, I didn't think I was gonna have that much fun, but it was so fun. And this is the backside, so you were, if you wanted to take a break, you'd go out there and. Hey, Biki. It was so much fun. I didn't think I was going to have that much fun there. I can't wait already for next year's. Uh, if you like artwork and stuff, you like anime, you like to, to uh, dress up or, or meet famous um, voice actors, actors, talents, all along in the anime, the gaming community. Um, TV shows, yeah, they have, they have those people there, you just gotta go check it out and get your tickets early if you're gonna go, sorry, like Luke, we don't want to know about Ka Kauai, Ka I know, but if you did, just want you to know that it's, I didn't think I was gonna have a good time there and I did, I met some cool people who support me and already watch me there's the stairs that leads up to the back of uh, the hallway convention center but you can't go in and out of there yeah yeah have a gate over there 
but if you're on this side you can walk up the stairs and if you're on the inside you can walk up to the gate which you can see down the stairs sorry let me show this side Please, uh, if you want to check out what it looked like at Koei Con, you can see I, I posted a bunch of videos and I'm still posting them. But I'm throwing in the Hawaii videos too because I know, I know that's my main audience. People who want to see Hawaii out, outdoors, Waikiki. But it's just become a part of the um, Hawaii community also. And just so you guys know, they don't just have Kauai Con. They have all kind of conventions there for doctors and uh, so many different associations and uh, groups. But Okinawan Festival every uh, September also has their Okinawan Festival there. Uh, they used to have it at uh, Kapilani Park. And people miss it there because it was free. But I don't know. I, I like it in air conditioning as a drummer i i like the ac and i don't mind paying money to go in it's a small price to pay for comfort because kapiolani park was hot the lines for shave ice were so long that people they'd run out of syrup and there'd only be like ice after And then now instead of the, I don't want to really say, but the riffraff that would just come by the convent, I mean the Okinawan Festival at Kapilani Park, they just come hang out because it just came from the beach or whatever, which is, some of them are fine and uh, others you're like, who's kind of type of people are these? <clears throat> and they're usually okay. But now you get, you get the people who just, you know, want to appreciate the culture of, of it. I guess it is one way to uh, for people to get exposed to it is if it was free. But the um, Okinawan culture here, the community, the Uchinanchu, they call them. It's huge here in Hawaii anyway, so. <clears throat> So, this is Kalakaua Avenue. It goes all the way up. Conven Convention Center parking lot is entered through Kalakaua Avenue over here on this side. What time is it now? Um, it's 1, 1 p.m. That, that's Kapiolani Boulevard up there. across that is such a cool building If you wanted to, you could go around, go over the bridge and go around and go walk the other side of Alawai Canal. Go back around and then go over the bridge. I'm a little short on time. I gotta go pick up Austin soon. Don't forget to like this video and share us with other people and subscribe to Photo Look Hawaii if you haven't already. Mahalo.
Oh, you see these blue ribbons on the trees? It means that there's a white, there's a turn in there. Turn. It's a, it's a bird. They're protected. They're, they, they don't make a nest. They just lay their egg on some part of the tree. So you gotta be extra careful there. <laughs> and I guess for the tree cutters and stuff, they know they, they have to be careful around that tree. I don't even know if they're allowed to cut cut it while it, there's a nesting going on in there. But if you so if you see one in the uh, tree that has a nesting turn in it, it's a white bird. It looks like a seagull, but like a miniature one. Not a seagull. Uh, it, it looks like a seabird, anyways, like a white seabird. And if you see one in there nesting, you can call the number or and then report where you see that there's the number. Manuoku hotline. Okay, sorry this guy's sound like he's upset, so So I walk by him quickly. Okay, let's try to say this name. Lipe Pe Lipe Pe Street. That kind of a stop. This is Holbron Lane going down this way. I think that's Holbron Lane also in the terms that way. Oh, sidewalk goes right through like a park area on this side. It's cool. Keep seeing the escalator going up and down. It's so weird when it's exposed on the outside. <laughs> and uh, there's also uh, the powwow going on. Uh, Pow Wow in Paradise at, uh, at Magic Island actually back you know Alamoana Beach Park across from Alamoana Center the beach side there's going to be a powwow there at Magic Island it's not this weekend next weekend oh. let me just look at my calendar Yes, 13th and the 14th, the Magic Island. That one's a free event. Can make a day of it, picnicking. Of 
going and checking out the First Nation. You know, people uh, call them American Indians before, but they don't like to be called that. First Nation or uh, Native. This weekend is the Scottish Festival. Uh, across from the Honolulu Zoo, there's a Jefferson Elementary School. That's the 6th and the 7th. So 6th and the 7th, uh, April, uh, Jefferson Elementary, uh, 41st uh, Scottish Festival, and Highland Games. I don't know what the, the hours are. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's six and the seventh. And then next weekend, the 13th and the 14th is Pow Wow in Paradise at Magic Island. Both are uh, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. miss the light but uh, Pawa and Paradise will be down that way so if you're in Waikiki you can walk all the way down this way across the bridge turn left into uh, Ala Moana uh, Beach Park Ala Moana, or they call it Ala Moana Regional Beach Park and Magic Island is there um, where the big parking lot is you can walk right over that's not this weekend that's the next weekend if you want to go to a uh, scottish festival you gotta go that way all the way down kalakawa avenue all the way by uh, across from the honolulu zoo and that's this weekend you gotta you gotta look it up because you're probably watching this after the fact Some things to driving in other places that I'm not used to, but you so you always got to be cautious whether you're driving or walking.
the Ilikai Hotel. We're gonna go walk through it. Show you where Dave's ice cream is. This is a cool hotel on this side. Lobby. Let me show the shops real quick. Sorry if it's wobbly. I won't show you all the shops, just the ones over here. Oh, Poke Hawaii. They got Poke. Paradise Poke. Salon and stuff over there. Vacation stuff. Gift shop. Souvenirs. Clothes. Market. Little mini market. Let's walk this way. Who I market? What is this? Surfboard rental stuff? Oh wow, look at this. Souvenir stickers, decals. Um, probably some vacation option stuff. Oh, I don't know what I was going to say. Water designs. Oh, that's what that's called. Oh, stick on tattoos. We have the eating places over here. Oh, wow, there's a huge menu over here. Let's check this out. Losing free options. Cinema is closed. Dave's ice cream. I dare not get an ice cream without Cheryl. So. Let me just show you what they have. Hi. Thank you. Oh, I didn't know you guys did shave ice too. Yes, we do, but oh. we only have a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just, I was just curious. I'm not allowed to get any treats without my wife, so I'll come back another time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cinnamon is closed. It is really closed, I think. Yeah? What does it say? This is close, close. Oh, yeah, it's close. Yeah, 
Yeah, Dave's ice cream is really good. You guys should try it. Um, they make the ice cream here in Hawaii. So, um, hey, you want to support Hawaii and you want some ice cream as well? Dave's ice cream. Ate huh? Ilka. Did I tell you guys already? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Photo Look Hawaii. Thanks. There's the other restaurant up here. Just wait. Let's just go check out the other restaurant. So yeah, the modern Honolulu is right there also. And you can head to the beach from the Ilikaya of the modern Honolulu through this walkway overlooking the Aloai Harbor. You find those surfboard um, they have historic uh, information about the area usually and if you ever want to you can always pause the video and I'm showing you something if you want to read it or rewind it that's the beauty of video you know I have such a bad memory so video is like my it's like my memory there's the uh, Kahanamoku Lagoon or Hilton Hawaiian Village Lagoon from this view. They have um, fireworks here most Fridays at 7.45 but on that side of the beach. So they have that side of the beach closed off and then you can watch it from that side. Or from here, I guess. And all over here is a uh, free parking right here. That side is not. That's paid parking. But if you can find a space over here, it's free. But you only get uh, six hours. Let's enjoy this. With the rainbow tower in the background. Irons them were just here recently with their family in the paddleboard. Her husband's new paddleboard and, and daughter. So again over here is free parking on this side only. All the way around this fence area in that area. That side is paid parking. If you park on that side, you can make sure you pay. I don't know how that you pay. I don't think. Is everything by phone now? QR code and phone? I don't know. Yeah. Just so you guys know. Let's go walk the lagoon before we end. It's a little bit of it.
You can see Diamond Head in the background there. The sand here is really hard. They had the prices right over here. No, was it uh, Wheel of Fortune? Sorry, Wheel of Fortune. It was a while ago. Yeah. I don't know where they had the stage. They had the stage set up over here somewhere in the lagoon. They filmed a bunch of things here. 51st stage. I think they did a scene here. So Hawaii Five O must have done a bunch of things here. The old and the new one. Here people can hang out on the grass. Go in the water. And this water is filtered. I think they said something like 10,000 gallons an hour. I don't know. Sometimes it smells a little... It smells a little... I don't know. Lagoony to me because I've gone and swam in it before I'd rather swim in the ocean it is still salt water though inside there there's no way you could have like chlorine like so close to the ocean it, not that big body of water that wouldn't be good it's a uh, salt or brackish salt Okay, this is Kahanamoku Beach again. And if you go further down the beach, you can walk all the way around by the Halekoa side. And keep going and then it turns into uh, Fort Dirusi Beach. And this walkway is called um, I think Kahanamoku Boardwalk and then eventually turns to um, for the receive boardwalk which ends by the outrigger reef hotel if you're wondering if the gilligan food truck was still here it's not no it's just food truck i don't know what it's called but i showed it in the video previous to this one you see the menu in that I don't know what this parking lot is really called. I call it the Alamoana Bowl parking lot.